Well, hello friends, this is Amy Berlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and today I have some super cute, simple, easy, easy treats to share with you. It's funny how many times when I show people how to make these treats, they can't believe how quick and simple and easy they are. And of course, they hold chocolate, these cute little, the Girardelli chocolate squares. I love these things. Let me tell you, I've had to sample one or two as I've been making these things as usual, right? So anyway, let me show you because I made them in all of our, the new 2019-21 in colors. So this one right here is uh, Purple Posy. And you can see this is some of our designs series paper this one's maybe not the best one to show you because the pattern it's such a light color I'll show you on this one you can see a little bit better this is the same pattern with the little gingham kind of check on one side of the paper and then the other side um, it's like kind of like a diamond shape almost so that one is pretty peacock so those have the same patterns on them right and then the other sheets of designer series paper in and these are in the in color packs and in the brights regals subtles and neutrals these are all the same patterns that you get so this one is um, terracotta tile and you can see on the inside it's kind of like a pretty like cursive writing and then on the other side uh, kind of some mosaic or we've been saying maybe chicken wire if you need it to be chicken wire too um, so that's the pattern and you'll see that's the same on this one with the cursive writing on the inside and then the little mosaic patterns and then ooh, and that one is um, seaside spray and then this one is the Rococo rose which is my favorite word to say Rococo <laughs> I'm loving that so again there is can you see um, if I get close there right there's the really pretty I love the cursive font and then again the chicken wire or mosaic pattern on the other that's what I'm calling it anyway so let me show you how simple and easy it is to make these so I'm gonna scoot these guys kind of up out of the way a little bit so I have a piece of designer series paper again this is the um, purple posy just a piece of six by six that's how all of the designer series paper comes in these in colors in last year's in colors and then like I said in the brights regals subtles and neutrals same patterns uh, just different colors um, but six by six sheets of them. So you basically start with a piece of six by six DSP. So that's super simple and easy. I want um, this pattern to be on the outside. So I'm gonna fold on the inside. So you just take from one corner to the other. I'm gonna grab my bone folder here too. So I'm ready to go with that. So I'm just gonna fold up and I'm kind of, I'm trying to kind of line up along here to make sure that it's lined up properly. And I kind of use my fingers and then I, go back over it with my bone folder. Then I wanna kind of, I'm gonna line this up so it looks like it's about even kind of along here, this point pointing up toward the top. And then I'm just going to kind of fold over, kind of from, do you see how I did that? This point kind of comes, it's a little bit more than halfway I'd say, but I want that to just kind of come right along the edge there. And then same thing, I'm gonna, flip this guy up and if you ever need to reposition that's really not a big deal either um, you can see how it gets a little lumpy so that's why I really like to use my bone folder on that so that really helps and then you don't even need adhesive to make this little treat envelope basically this piece right there just folds down and look at that perfect and it flips up but once you put your chocolate inside it's funny how just kind of that little little give inside there helps keep that guy down. Now let's do let's put our make our cute little tag right. So I have my Sahara Sand ink pad, and I am going to stamp. I've got this cute little stamp says if you can read here. I'll show you this one that we're making right just a little something for you. And I will include all of the item codes and details, um, everything that we're using on these projects in the details to the YouTube video. So you don't have to worry about remembering um, the names of anything that we are using. I'll, I'll give you the names and the item codes. I'm gonna use, this is the Story Label Punch. This was a punch that carried over. We, were, we could get this uh, punch during celebration and then they carried it over into our current annual catalog and then i'm going to use this as a little flower stamp i am going to kind of ink that up and i just like to kind of right there along the edges just add a little something to the side of our sentiment there okay now let's see what are we going to do we're going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back 
of our sentiment. And then we're gonna grab, this is that Purple Posy, the scalloped edged linen ribbon in Purple Posy, and it comes, you can see, right? It comes in all five of our in colors. Such a beautiful, this ribbon, I, I cannot stop playing with it, to be honest with you. So I just kind of tied a little knot with the ribbon. I'm just trying to get it so that it's facing, so that you don't have one side with just the linen and the other side with the scallop edged on it there. So you just want to kind of pull a little bit there, right? And then I'm just going to snip it with my scissors. And I'm going to grab, I've got my glue dots right here. I was looking for them thinking, oh no, what did I do with my glue dots? And they're always right in front of your face, aren't they? When you can't find something. So I'm just going to put the glue dot right on the back there. And then I'm just going to pop that baby right on there. And I feel like maybe I need to trim that down. I might have made, I don't like these guys to be too big. We're just going to trim those off a little bit. And then we're going to peel the backings off of our dimensionals. And pop that little baby on there. And that is it. So isn't, I mean, can you guys see how quick and simple and easy those little treats are? I love, oh my gosh, plus these new in colors are just so much fun to play with. I've been having a great time. Hopefully you guys have been having, been having a great time playing with our new in colors too. So if you are interested, I'm gonna pop this right over here too. Uh, check out my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I always have lots of ideas and tutorials and good info for you over there. Plus, if you use the host code from my blog at gatheringinspiration.com when you order online, you always get the two cards that I demonstrated on the previous week's Facebook Friday live video, and I do a giveaway. And if you order at least $30, your name goes in the giveaway as well. So your name could be drawn. You could win the um, prize that I'm giving away on Facebook Live. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd love for you to like and comment on the video. I love to hear from you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys were inspired today and we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.